So as you guys can see, we are getting more than 100 FPS while emulating GTA 5 on our Android device. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Atrix here. In today's video, we'll be trying out the official Red Magic PC emulator on our Android devices. And if you don't already know, Red Magic is a gaming smartphone company, and they had decided to launch their own Windows emulator for their gaming phones. So before getting started, I won't be actually showing you guys how to add this emulator on your Android device because it is actually a complicated process. You need lots of tools and even Activity Manager to launch the Red Magic PC emulator on your Android device. So here if I search PC game inside the Activity Launcher, by the way, before you even think about adding this emulator on your Android device, I want you to watch the video first because trust me, it's not really going to be worth it. So here you can see the Red Magic Hub as well as PC Game Launcher. These are the two apps that you need to use if you want to run the Red Magic PC emulator on your Android devices. So here I'll just go ahead and launch the Red Magic emulator by tapping on the launch activity. And this is going to be in Chinese because it is only available in Red Magic, which is a Chinese smartphone company so it is only available in China specific region once you tap on the ok button you guys will see an UI similar to this so simply tap here afterwards enable this option so you guys can add your own PC games and here we go what do we see here <laughs> this is the game hub emulator file manager feature if you guys have used game hub emulator you guys will know it and recognize it very well so here I'll just go ahead and select the game and you can see that our game will be successfully recognized I'll also add another few games and I'll talk about what's actually going on here so once I tapped on GTA 5 you guys can see automatically firmware is also being added and yeah this UI seems fairly familiar right because we have seen this before and <laughs> this is from the game hub emulator Android that's why I told you guys before you even think of trying the red magic windows emulator I want you guys to see this process first and also the gameplay test so you guys know which emulator to actually go with so I'll press the B button I'll go to GTA 5 and add this game as well in the library here you guys can see GTA 5 okay now that I have added all the games I will simply press the setting button and behold we have the game hub emulator settings so here in terms of compatibility layer you guys can see the proton version 10 is present here so all of this stuff is actually from the game hub windows emulator Android so basically we are literally running a version of game hub emulator that is specifically created for running PC games on a red magic Android device this is a different front end compared to the game hub emulator but all the internal components are that of game hub emulator the games are company the developer of game hub emulator and the red magic company are working closely together even in terms of controllers and now emulator so if we just go ahead and select any game and open the game settings it will be in english not in chinese by the way so you guys can easily set the best settings as usual i'll apply the settings here 800 by 600 go to compatibility translation parameters make sure to set it as performance which is going to be the second option afterwards everything else you guys can keep it as default just set the vram limit as no limit Afterwards, we'll go to input mapping, enable this option. And with all of that out of the way, let's run Grand Theft Auto 5 to see how well does this game actually work on our Android device. So first thing which you'll see, it says components are being added. So wait until the component and container has been created. After it's done, once again, you can see launching game and this UI is similar to that of Game Hub Emulator. And behold guys, we have the Game Hub Emulator controller layout as well. But unfortunately the game closed for some reason let's try reopening it and see if it works or not so once again it has stopped so let's just go ahead and tap on close app let's go here now after i change some settings such as the proton version of wine as well as everything else you guys can see our windows emulator has successfully booted gta 5 now i'll just go ahead and swipe back afterwards as you can see right here are the game hub emulator settings as usual so you don't really need to worry about anything this is basically a wolf in a sheep's clothing so all this is is game hub emulator running inside the red magic windows emulators so this emulator simply launches the game inside game hub emulator so whatever is inside game hub emulator is also inside the red magic emulator and that's why i told you guys not to try this emulator out and hence why this is not a complete setup video i'll be showing you guys the gameplay though so let's wait until our game starts and here we go guys our game is about to begin london of north Yankton nine years ago immediately you guys can see the fps which we are getting about in the top left corner 150 plus fps while emulating gta 5 on our android device this is pretty crazy so as you guys can see we are getting more than 100 fps while emulating gta 5 on our android device so this is actually pretty impressive i need to test this out on the game hub emulator which is present on my android device itself to find out if this amount of amazing performance is actually possible anyways let's take a look at it there are some frame drops here and there but the game is running really well like 
100 plus FPS in Grand Theft Auto 5, bro. What am I, what am I even holding in my hand? This is not a gaming PC. This is just a gaming phone. The Realme GT7 Pro with Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. Anyways, guys, do let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about it. Like, this is actually crazy. GTA 5 with 100 plus FPS. I need to upload a proper gameplay video on this. So smash that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.